So you ready to make the move out to Denver and Lakewood, Colorado is calling your name. You are in luck because we are going to give you pros, cons, everything you need to know about Lakewood, Colorado, where to find the best deals and where to find the most exclusive neighborhoods. Let's go. Guys, welcome back to the channel, Everything Denver, Colorado, where we highlight everything real estate related inside and outside the Denver metro area. So when you are thinking of your move here, please hit me up, call, text, or email, and we will get you set up for success on your move to Denver. Today, we are starting off our tour of Lakewood in the neighborhood of Solterra. Now, this is a newer community, master-built community that has a lot of kind of unique style houses that you're not going to find in a lot of other areas in the Denver metro. One, it has very much a Tuscan feel to it. Spanish style tile roofs, uh, a lot of stucco, a lot of stonework on a lot of the homes. So it's definitely very popular and a lot of uh, people have chosen to move here uh, because of that unique aspect of it. Now, as you can see, we got a lot of open space and trails. Uh, now to give you a little perspective on Lakewood to start, we are about seven miles to the west of Denver. And like I said, one of Denver's largest suburbs, it's actually the third largest. Uh, you have Denver, the largest city, and then Aurora second, and then Lakewood third. And you're gonna find that Lakewood has a lot of variety. You have some older style homes and older, uh, more traditional neighborhoods with a lot of ranch, tri-level and bi-level homes. And the median price point for home in Lakewood is around 575. So you can definitely get a better value for homes in Lakewood than you can in the Denver area. Now this neighborhood of Solterra that we're in, it's a little bit more unique and a little bit higher price point. A lot of the homes in this neighborhood are gonna start at 700 and go up from there. You won't find many condos out in this part of Lakewood, but there are some townhomes that start in the 550 to $600,000 range. So some of the people really love about the Solterra neighborhood is one all these trails it feels very private very secluded which are very close to the mountains as well you got c470 just on the west end of the neighborhood which gives you easy access up to i-70 and into denver or you can head south take it around highlands ranch if you work in lakewood at say uh, the denver federal center or jeffco public schools or maybe you're in the healthcare industry and you want to work at St. Anthony's Hospital, this can be a great option for you. And there's a lot of great neighborhoods around the Lakewood area, so let definitely have a ton of options. But as far as where do people work when they move to Lakewood, a lot of people do work at the Denver Federal Center. A lot of people don't know, but the federal government is actually the largest employer of folks in Colorado. And second to that, they work either for the state, whether that be maybe one of the schools or sheriff's office or uh, one of the different um, municipalities around like Lakewood, the city of Lakewood, or they work in the medical field. Pretty diverse uh, job opportunities out here in Lakewood. So something people really like about living in Lakewood is its proximity to the mountain. So you're on that west end of Denver, you're really only five, 10 minutes from I-70 in most parts of Lakewood. And you could take that easily up into the mountains, do your hiking, skiing, snowboarding, gondola rides. There's tons of stuff to do in the mountains. And a reason a lot of people choose to live in Denver is for access to those mountain areas. Another benefit of living in this location is easy access um, throughout the metro area. Uh, something that's pretty nice about Lakewood is you have a lot of thoroughfares that run right through the city and you're not just tied to one or two freeways like maybe you're in Littleton or Centennial even. The things people really like about living in Lakewood is one, it's proximity. Uh, to the rest of the things in the Denver metro area. You're never more than probably a 15 minute drive into Denver and you have a couple nice big thoroughfares that run right through Lakewood that can get you there very quickly. Whether that's uh, Highway 6 that runs right into Denver, that is probably the best uh, route to take on most days. You also have access to I-70 and that'll run through Denver or get you up to the high country as well, but that can get a little bit more bottlenecked. 
But another nice thing on this west end of town, since you're not close to I-25, is there's a lot of big thoroughfares that run through the city. So you have Sheridan that runs north and south, Wadsworth that runs north and south, as well as Kipling. And say there's an accident on one of those, you can jump on over to one of the other uh, thoroughfares that goes north and south and get around it that way. So it makes it pretty convenient in getting around. You're never too bottlenecked in one area or the other, even though it is a very popular suburb. Some things to do that people absolutely love when they live here is going up to the high country mountain biking on that west end of town. You have quick access to the Red Rocks Amphitheater. So if you're into concerts, they have shows there throughout the summer and the fall. So easy access into that. You also have um, that as a workout place. I know a lot of people go there and they run the stairs or they run you know, morning yoga classes out there. So Red Rocks is definitely just a beautiful place to explore. Uh, the other things that are nice is if you're on the south end of Lakewood, you're close to this Bear Creek State Park and you can do your camping there. You can do more mountain biking. You can do your water sports, whether that be, sorry, there's a bee, almost got stung. Take two. Uh, go out and do your paddle boarding, your kayaking, your uh, water sports, a lot of um, outdoor activities to do there. Um, so you do have a lot of outdoor amenities available to you. Now, as far as uh, shopping goes, uh, you do have everything that you'll get in the suburbs scattered throughout Lakewood. Uh, but one place a lot of people like to go and, ex and uh, do the shopping is the Belmar Mall. This is kind of an outdoor mall where you have a lot of the traditional stores that you would find um, in a mall like Park Meadows or Southwest Plaza. Um, but you also have your big chain stores connected to it as well. So it's kind of a one-stop shop. If okay, so let's explore and talk about some of the favorite neighborhoods. This first one of Solterra, a very unique and master planned community here on the west and End of Lakewood and the west end of the metro area it butts up right to the foothills, butts up to C470, and it has a very unique Tuscan style feel to it. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit more unique, not your traditional uh, track home that you know looks like every other neighborhood around, Solterra definitely has its own vibe and own eclectic style. So you see a lot of Spanish style roofs, a lot of stucco finishes, and a lot of unique stonework out here that you really won't find in many other neighborhoods across the metro area. Now homes in this particular pocket are going to start at 700,000 and be going up from there. You'll find a lot of homes at that million dollar to a million two price point, but you're going to have a much more unique style and it's a beautiful kind of secluded neighborhood. It's not gated or that isolated, but you definitely have more of an upscale feel to it. Another reason people will choose Lakewood is if they're looking for an area that's a little bit further west, a better price point than say a Boulder or uh, a Golden, you do have uh, you know cheaper home options available, especially kind of in the Green Mountain and closer to the city, uh, the inner city of Lakewood, where your average price point will be about five seventy-five. dollars Some people choose to live there, but still have that access to all those great outdoor amenities, whether that be whitewater, rafting you know it's just a short trip up into the golden area So what are some negatives to living in Lakewood? Well, depending on where you are in the city, you could be butting up to an area of Denver that might not be some of the best neighborhoods. If you're kind of close to that Edgewater area or some of the uh, neighborhoods of South Denver on that uh, east end of Lakewood, not appreciating as fast, don't have, aren't not holding their value quite as much. And you do have to deal with a little bit more of that Denver drama. So if you're looking for something that's more suburban feel, the further west you go in the uh, town of Lakewood, the better your options are for housing. And this I don't take so much as a con, but uh, Lakewood is very kind of a suburban area. So you're not gonna have as many unique uh, restaurant options and shopping options as you would have in some of the more inner city parts of Denver or some of the older towns with a little bit more charm than Lakewood. So. I don't find that as a downside really at all. I like the suburban life, how clean it is and how convenient everything is. But if you're looking for something that's uh, very historical and a lot of um, unique shopping options, cafes and things like that, uh, inner city Denver, maybe a neighborhood like Sloan's Lake or the Highlands might be a better fit for you than Lakewood. All right, guys, we're moving to a neighborhood called Green Mountain. Now, you may have heard about this uh, as, uh, 
you've been exploring maybe the map and you've seen it. What is the Green Mountain neighborhood? Well, named for a Green Mountain. Actually more brown here near the end of summer. Um, but a great outdoor activity space to go hiking or mountain biking. If you are going to explore the Green Mountain area, make sure you get there really early. There's not a lot of tree shade, not a lot of um, you know, tree cover. So you're gonna be cooking out in that Denver sun if you show up in the uh, afternoon to do a, a mountain biking ride up there. But definitely a cool area, cool trails and things. And uh, this neighborhood, definitely a little bit older. This is where you're gonna find homes that are a little bit cheaper um, than we were in the Solteri. You'll find things here in that $500,000, $600,000 price point. And you'll also start to find more of the condominiums, apartments, and townhomes available too. So if you're looking to get into uh, maybe a starter neighborhood here in in the Lakewood area. Uh, this is probably more of a move up uh, neighborhood versus a starter neighborhood. Definitely a little bit cheaper price of homes than you'll find in the Solterra neighborhood. So one of the really cool things about Green Mountain is it's uh, set up above just to the west of Denver. So depending on what house you get or uh, where you are situated on the side of the hill, you can have these amazing sweeping views of the metro area. You're actually quite a bit higher. You're not in the mountains per se, but you do have more of a foothills feel to this. So if you're commuting on a bike or what have you for work, you're definitely gonna feel a lot more hills than you do in the Denver area. Amazing views over this part of Lakewood. And like I said, a lot of uh, older style homes built in the 70s and even the 60s. So you're gonna find a lot of bi-levels and tri-levels and ranch style homes. Some people love that, some people absolutely hate it. I am not a fan of that style of tri-level or bi-level and you're gonna find a lot of that in this western part of Lakewood. If you're looking for something a little bit newer, then I say we move closer to the south uh, in that area of Solterra or we move further north closer to the next city of Wheat Ridge where there's gonna be a few more new construction options uh, as well as just newer constructed homes. All right, guys, some things to consider when you're thinking of the move to Lakewood. One, proximity to the mountains, check, good. Two, outdoor activities and amenities, check, good. I have tons of parks, whether that be parks for the kids and playgrounds and soccer fields and all that, or dog parks. Lakewood is a very dog-friendly city, as are almost every city here around the Denver metro area, but a lot more open space, trails, mountain biking, places to take the dog, awesome things to do outdoor recreation-wise. Price points you're gonna be looking at are gonna vary. If you are looking just for an entry-level place, you can get a condo under 300,000 in the Lakewood area. It is rare to find uh, you know, a single-family home for under 400,000, but it can be done more than likely you're gonna be spending about five to 550 for an entry level single family home. Now, if you're looking to move up or take a step up, you do have a lot of options between 700 and a million. There are a lot of great neighborhoods that are right in that 700 to 900 price point. And then if you move down to Soltero, where we were at the start of the video, yeah, you are gonna be probably in that 800 plus, very exclusive, very nice, scenic views all the way around and a very high quality of home in those neighborhoods. The cons to moving to Lakewood. Schools can be hit or miss. You do have a lot that are lower than average rankings. Some of those in the Jeffco area are just not as highly ranked as say Cherry Creek and Douglas County or Littleton Public Schools. So definitely something to consider. Con number two, this is gonna be very neighborhood specific, but depending on where you are in Lakewood, if you're really close to that east end where you're butting up to some of the poor neighborhoods of Denver, uh, not gonna be as desirable. Your property values are not going to increase as much. Uh, and number three, and I'll throw this one in as a con because it is for some people they, if you are looking for a totally suburban and not urban area at all and just residential areas, you're going to have to go further out to like a neighborhood like Solterra to get away from some of the urban and corporate buildings, office buildings, hospital buildings, government buildings that are kind of intertwined throughout the Lakewood area. So if you're looking for something totally neighborhood feel, more secluded, maybe one of the other suburbs would work out better. But if you're looking for something where you can live and work all in the same city and have everything right nearby and be very convenient, Lakewood can be a great option. So until next time, guys, when we highlight another city for you, please like, subscribe, and reach out when you're thinking of your move to Denver.